I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. Vic now after the fumble recovery. There's the eight-time Pro Bowler Marvin Harrison. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Or how about the passing numbers so far on this first drive? Oh, no doubt about it. They're flinging it around pretty successfully. And look at the start. The confidence level that we see in him rising because he's hit a few early. And how about the last one? The big shot right there. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Despite the late lead, Vic's going to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Tucker now to kick it away following the touch. Touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Michael Strahan in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. Nicely done. Another one up, another one down. Keep grinding and keep racking up those wins. It's the unforgettable. You would joke like your belly show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering. You would joke like your belly show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it.